Welcome back to another Handaz VR video, and today we're at Yaramin. Oh yeah, I, I don't. So we're somewhere in the middle of our back Australia, <laughs> YMDT. If you're curious to check it out yourself, um, I chose this area while we're doing Tokyo Drift Fishtails down the uh, runway uh, because I thought I wanted to give my first impressions on the new headset that I'm wearing. As you can see, I am using uh, the MetaQuest Three. And uh, before we get into talking about my first impressions, actually, I just want to quickly say, this is G'day, it's me from the editing suite. Just want to quickly say that black stuff that you see on the left there, I'm pretty sure that's due to a setting that I need to adjust. So my apologies for that. And moving forward, it should be gone. So yeah, my bad. This is in the middle of nowhere. And the reason why is I kind of want to emphasize a bit of focus on, um, you know, talking about what my impressions are. So first of all, I got this headset today. Um, it is only the 128 gig. I was going to wait for the 512, but given that I live in the Middle East, um, it's taking, it's going to take a long time for some reason for uh, stock to ship here, uh, but they do have the 128 available. So I thought, you know what, whatever, I'm going to get the 128. First thing I noticed uh, is that the clarity in the headset is like, super duper better <laughs> it's way better um and in addition to that uh you have this ability to do i'm sure you know what the whole pass through thing is because if you're watching my channel it's a good chance you're watching other vr channels as well the clarity in the pass through uh with this at least compared to the quest 2 <clears throat> sorry i've just gotten over a sickness by the way is phenomenal so basically you got color pass through with depth centers and everything i can literally use my computer with my headset on and like do vr related stuff and still use my computer at the same time because of the pass through um and that is awesome and in fact i'm going to give you a very uh brief studio tour as we pause it just so you can see because as i'm recording it'll also record the pass through so you know what i'll give you a quick studio tour that's one thing the other thing is the field of view it's marginally better it's not like phenomenally better but it is a little bit better and um i can see stuff around me that i really couldn't see as well uh in the quest 2 um so that is a really really strong point as well let's go fly over towards that water a bit other than that the headset itself while it is technically a little bit heavier it actually feels a little bit lighter the headset's closer to your face ultimately because it's not protruding out you've probably seen instances where i keep bumping my microphone i don't do that anymore because this is really flat it's pretty much pushed up against my face now which is really cool um and that also means no more bumpies on the head uh, on the microphone so that's pretty cool um so yeah this is really really awesome i've noticed the controller tracking to be really effective as well um and yeah as i mentioned before clarity is a bit more pronounced so basically everything that i once had to kind of look forward and into i can now uh, it's a little bit blurry but for the most part i can read uh these little icons and everything pretty much as i sit right here which is absolutely awesome um and i think that in itself is worth the upgrade if there wasn't anything else there are other youtubers who have went into an absolute deep dive of vr heads uh, of the vr headset and all that sort of stuff oh god i just accidentally hit my desk um who you know have done a deep dive in the vr headset and all that i'm not you know that crazy about like all the details and all that sort of stuff but one thing i do know is from a consumer perspective like from the perspective of not looking so deep into it if you will um it actually does the job really really well so yeah that that's pretty much um what i can say about it in a nutshell and in fact just before we go on to final i'm going to give you a quick tour okay so all i do is double tap boom i can get rid of this if i want i think yeah there we go so there's my microphone as you can see it's like insane you can see what i'm seeing right now um room's a little bit messy but it's not i'm gonna have to talk a bit loud but 
how cool is this? Like, um, so this is kind of my studio. I've got my lighting here to kind of give that nice little, you know, lighting texture, as you can see. Um, this is some of my favorite things. Uh, here's my pet rock. Um, if, you're wa if you're watching this video, you know who you are. <laughs> um, I've got some Hotas stuff. Obviously, I use my rudder pedals. Um, that's a bit of an Easter egg. If you know, you know. Uh, that's also an Easter egg. Uh, this is from my darling uh, fiance's family when I visited South Africa. Um, well, this is the old Quest 2 box. I might put the Quest 3 box there. Prime because, hey, why not? Pop culture. Red Bull because I like Red Bull. But yeah, so you know, I've got my little lounge space here. I don't know how much of the audio you can hear right now, so hopefully it's not too um, quiet. Um, there's my lighting setup. Obviously, my camera's over there. You can see my studio monitors there. I kind of like to make music. I need to get more into it. There's my computer. <coughs> oh, there's the cough. There we go. Let me just put my charging cable back in. Oh, and here's my old headset, um, which is, I'm still gonna use it because I like to do exercise and you know boxing and all that sort of stuff. So yeah, but anyway, let's, um, Let's get back into it but yeah as you can see it's pretty cool like the pass through you couldn't really do this with this because it's black and white and it's um yeah you can't make it like these screens would be blown out in as it like it would be white like you couldn't see anything um so it's pretty phenomenal double tap boom we're back into the game um well flight simulator how dare i insult this by a simulator by calling it a game <laughs> but anyway um we'll make our way down and we'll do our landing and uh yeah so it's not a it's not a wild first impression like there's other youtubers as i mentioned who um you know do provide in-depth impressions and all that but this is kind of an overview um so yeah i thought you know what i'll spice things up a bit i'll um let you guys into my personal life a little bit more show you around and hope you enjoyed <coughs> i am so sorry yeah i was sick over the past week um i had to take sick leave from work um you're probably wondering how did i upload videos well i actually tend to upload a lot of videos at once and then just stagger them out so if you make a request that's why in many cases uh requests do take it you know you might make a request but the video that you request might come out you know a couple of weeks later uh, that's because i've already got a catalog of videos coming out so uh if you do have any requests um by all means um feel free to leave it in the comments section below uh, and i might fly it uh, as i mentioned i kind of wanted to do a random little airport in this one um just so i can have focus on uh you know the discussion of um what we discussed <laughs> um but yeah if you're new be sure to subscribe uh like the video if you do i uh, still don't know where this channel is going to go in terms of vr if it's just going to be flight sim it's definitely going to incorporate flight sim whether it's going to be just flight sim or not i'm not sure but anyway guys uh, i'll leave it at that youtube is going to show you a video it thinks you might enjoy so feel free to stick around uh, and check that out which it will come up on the screen shortly i hope you enjoyed a little bit of outback australia and i'll catch you in the next video time to butter this landing Oh, first butter of the Quest 3. Come on, come on, come on. Let's do this. There we go. It was not bad. Did a bit of Tokyo Drift, but that's fine. Sweet. Catch you guys.